Hi, my name is Rob Nelson and I'm the author and creator of SageLite. What I'd like to do here is just take a couple minutes of your time to show you what you can do in SageLite very quickly and how powerful it is with your image. After which uh, I follow just uh, four very short one minute videos with some music over it so you don't have to hear my voice the whole time. So with this picture what you can see is you can see it's, it's pretty dark and pretty plain and what I can do is I can just use the fill light to bring it up and what you can also see is I can bring out the color but you can see it's going pretty yellow so what I can do is I can use the auto color and you can see it's added a lot more of a natural tone to it and then when I bring out the saturation it looks much more natural and then what I can do is I can play with the light uh, sage light works in real time that's maybe like five or six frames per second here but when you use it on your computer it's uh, it, it runs real time so that's one thing I can do, and now if you look at the before and after, it's uh, pretty different, that's for sure. The idea is to bring up a picture and balance it and enhance it in a way that's natural for the picture. The controls in Sage Light are made to work together so that it really helps your image. You can get really the same result with these sliders in many different ways just by experimenting. You don't really have to know what the sliders do. You just get a feel for them after using them a couple of times. You can also use the histogram window that also works in real time even though it doesn't show here on the video to see what's happening with your image every every control will show you what's happening with a composite of the image now what I can do is I did that in the quick edit mode what I can do is I can go step back to the original and I can go into the smart light which is has a much broader range than the quick edit mode and so you can do a lot with quick edit mode or you can step out and do a lot of other functions. You can see that I've really been able to brighten this up even more so here. And you can also see that it's uh, really yellowish because the original picture was yellow. And so when I press the auto color, you can see it bounces it again. And then when I bring it up again, it looks pretty good. And then I can play with these controls to get the contrast that I want and so forth. And then I can go ahead and use other controls. I can, for example, I can put a vignette on it if I want to do that. And then I can also sharpen it with the unsharp mask if, if I care to do that. And so this is a very small example of the things that you can do in Sage Light. And so now for just a few short videos where it's just overlaid with music and it just shows me using Sage Light real time in a, in a lot of different modes to give you a feel for the sort of things you can do very quickly in Sage Light.